internet, this is Lord Mad Dog, and we are playing a new game. The game is called From the Depths, and it is another building game, my favorite type. Yes, so I've been playing this game since it came out for years, and I, I, I'm level 636 in it. So, <laughs> two, we're going to start off by playing all the storyline missions. Uh, I think there's about five for each faction, give or take. There are the, some of them are only like got two or three. But then after the fat faction missions, we're going to go ahead and do a campaign. And in the campaign, we're going to add some really weird rules to make it a little bit harder on us. And those rules are, one, I cannot use any tech that I ha do not own in the very beginning. So you own in the very beginning, you own wood, and you own um, simple weapons, uh, uh, fuel engines, propellers, and a little bit of hydrofoils. All right, after that, I have, to I have to encounter it four times in a battle or capture a vessel with it on. So that makes that very interesting. So you gotta basically kind of level, make it very difficult. But to make it even more difficult, all my vessels are going to be player controlled. That um, means I will keep all AI down to a minimum. So with that, I cannot use any drones. I cannot use multiple ships in a battle. The only way I'm able to use multiple ships in a battle is if I use ships I captured. And if, the, if I captured those uh, ships and they get destroyed in battle, I have to leave them destroyed. They have to be completely scrapped. So if I capture a ship, I want to keep it alive if I want to keep on using it. Okay? And as I was saying, so no AI, except for detection AI for uh, missiles and ammunition, because I'm going to need that. And I'm also going to try to keep my vessels extremely small. So I'm using, I'm going to be playing a game that's not designed to be player controlled as a player controlled game and have to be very accurate at my movement, otherwise I'll get destroyed. But anyway, first off, we're gonna play with the stories. All right, so let's jump right on into the story missions. Now, the single player missions, the story missions here are, um, uh, if I fail at the first time, I will have to, I will show you my first failure and then after my first failure, I will play until I succeed. I've done them all before, but everything's changed. It's been over a year since I've actually played this game and the updates and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. So we're going to jump right on in. Uh, we're going to start. Wake up, son. Get your lazy, no good rear end out of bed now. We're taking our water. I must have hit something here in these shallows. And now we're dead in the water. Sitting here like rice right pickings for any pirate that wander by. Your mother's doing all she can at the bilge pumps to keep us afloat, and I gotta stay in mid deck to keep an eye on our missiles. They're making an odd tick tick noise. You go down below deck and see what's going on and get us moving again. If you manage that, get yourself up the helm and get us out of these muddy waters. All right. So from the appearance, we're gonna actually have to start with some resources, otherwise they won't be actually able to build the thing. Because <laughs> that, okay. Well, I'm gonna give myself 1,500 resources to actually be able to build an engine. All right. And we are on our bed. Let's get off the bed and go find this engine. So it seems like Dead in the water, your engines have fallen through the hole in the room. Maintenance around here is hard, but get down and get running. And you must reach a thousand before you leave. All right. Okay. Let's, oh, I fell off the boat. Let's find, let's change the different weapons here. Oops, Q. Is this the way into the build? Ah, here it is, the below decks. All right, first things first, we're going to need to repair the hole in the wall. The engines have been destroyed. Can you fix it, River Rat? Yes. So, for apparently from all, uh, all appearances, we are uh, a family living on a riverboat of some form or shape or size. And 
let's make sure we get all these broken parts out of here. And we gotta fill in the holes. Hey, where's that exhaust vent go? There is no exhaust. Oh, there is an exhaust. There, look at that. All right, so I've gotta go up to that exhaust. That's good to know. Like, there's no exhaust in this system. And these, okay, first off, let's fill the hole in the side. There we go. And then let's go ahead and fill in this hole as well. All right, so that fixes that. Now, I don't want to use um, metal because I do not have the resources for that. I only have a thousand some hundred and I'm going to need that for building. So we need blocks. We're going to go wood. We're going to go wood beam. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Ah, uh, boop, boop. Uh, I messed up. Yeah, let's put a three block in there. Boop, boop. And for a block. Two block. Three, uh, four block. Yeah, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, not quite enough. Big enough to have to put a one block in there. This is a, another four block. And we're going to have to put a wood block. Boom. And now we fixed the hole in the crew. There we are. No more hole in the ship. So even though our father is a horrible driver, we fixed his mess. Let's go to the fuel engine now and put a crankshaft in. And let's make sure we're going in the right direction. One, two, three, four. There we go. Now we're gonna need some crankshafts. Oh, let's put some, make good. Let's go ahead and make this a. Uh, there we are. G. Make sure no, not crankshaft. I need cylinders. G. No, wait. Nope. Not gonna have to turn it this way. There we go. Or you know what? Let's just make it a normal. We don't need. Let's make it a long way. I like this way better. It's easier to build this way. There we go. That means that we can easily put the exhaust, which we will now need to do. Exhaust. Um, yes. We need a turnpipe to begin with. Boop, boop. A, a junction pipe. Three of them. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. A straight pipe. Make sure it goes the right way. G, G, G. We need an upturn. Da 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 da. Another straight. Well, we're gonna need to have a corner pipe to get a turn, so I might as well go ahead and do that before I switch over. There we go, and now another straight pipe. Yes, we now have exhaust, but we only have 50 power. Now, to get more power, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Ooh, a big long straight pipe. I could have used that. How many straight... That's a two meter pipe pipe. Let's go ahead and put that in there. That way it makes it seem... Well, this thing's not going to get hit anyway. I don't know why I did that. Just <laughs> all right. So now that we're done with our exhaust system, we need to go back, and we well, could use carburetors, make this thing very efficient, or we could just go ahead and put injectors in and make it very inefficient but very fast, easy, able to get to a thousand. There we go. Well done, son. The engine is purring like a baby kitten. Maybe we'll prove yourself a man one day after all. Why don't you get up on deck and take the helm? Get us out of this river and onto the ocean, open ocean. Follow the mystery markers that popped up on our, your screen. I don't know how to, I don't have a clue where they come from, but I'm certain they are for you. <laughs> yes, but before I do that, I really, really need some radiators. And if I don't put a radion in there, this thing will overheat, especially with superchargers. <laughs> All right, now, 
Having played this mission before, I know we get attacked and our missile system is, as our father said, malfunctioning. A lot more than just malfunction, it is utter trash. So, I'm the king of the world. <laughs> yes, yes. Ah, you're going bye-bye. Whoops. I just changed my weapon type. I don't even know what that does, actually. It's been a while since I've used a grenade launcher. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and kill the king of the world. And we're going to go ahead and put ourselves an actual... No, blocks. Wood block. A beam. Boom. We're going to put ourselves simple weapon. Load subbed object. Dash it turret. And it cost too much. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. There. Simple weapons. Thousands of resources. There we are. Beautiful. This will kill anything that comes along. It's just simple, real easy. And because I cannot do tab on this thing, that's going to be annoying. Anyway, let's go! We just point towards our uh, waypoint. Yeah. From the depths. Boy, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful little game. Very in depth. Waypoint. I do not like how it's, it's limiting me to this view. Looks like we have some low life deep water guard. Pirates have been laying in wait for some easy pickings. Let's show them that they picked the wrong houseboat to pick on. Yeah, they did. Oh, yes, they did. All right, here we are. We have to get closer, though. I don't think I'm close enough range for my lasers to do any damage. Oh, yeah, I am. Oh, yeah, look at that. Eat that. My simple laser pack is kicking your butt. Too damaged. We are not picking. You're not picking on us today, but our missiles are flying backwards. Like if I have others said, crappy, oh no, we just got hit. Heavy duty in the side. Oh, here you are. Take this. Oops, I just shot ourselves. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're gonna run up shore if I don't be careful here. Too damaged. Alright, take that, you. This river rat knows a thing or two about simple weapons. We find out later. Spoiler alert. No, I won't spoil that for you. But there's a reason why we have lasers. That we know about lasers. Mm -hmm. River rat's not too dumb. He's pretty smart has a smart his father's not all that bright his mother's really smart though well maybe his father is smarter than I'm giving him credit for because I mean anyone can hit run ashore in very shallow water or hit something especially if they're leaning back and reading a magazine or playing on their tablet as they just mosey along down the river it happened to anyone so yeah we probably just a normal Joe Living. Oh, here we go. We got more enemies, but I need to get closer before I can hit them. You know what? Let's go ahead and hit E so I'm not at locked into. Oh, you can't do that even. Oh, they've locked you into the first person view on all of this. I do not like that. I do not like first person, which I don't know if I've said that before. And woo, ha ha ha, we killed that boat. And what else is shooting at us? I can't even see it. Ah, there you are. Oh. Here we are. Let's take out his gun. I think we got you, boy. AI dead. Yay! Reeked across the pirate boy boat. Then fire.
Boom! Well done! The mission is complete. You've done me proud, son. You got us moving, you fought off those pirates, and you got us to safety. For the first time, I'm glad we didn't trade you for that loaf of bread when you were a baby, like your mother suggested. <laughs> oh, crud! <laughs> well, oh, oh, it seems like we're a little bit off. Um, in our summization of our family. <laughs> All right, select another mission. Tutorial out of gash. All right. Well, now you've gone and done it. The engine you cobbled together has burned through almost all of our blasted fuel reserves. <laughs> yeah, it would. It was nothing but injectors. <laughs> It was not fuel efficient at all. Okay, so yeah, that's my fault. I'm sorry, Pop. <laughs> okay, burned through almost all of our blasted fuel reserve, reserve fuel. I've signaled for nearly a nearby trader to come and sell us some fuel, but I guarantee that he's gonna fleece us good. Us sitting out here is like like ducks. It's not helping my nerves none none at all. I got some parts to an old cannon up on deck why don't you go slap that ju old junk together into something useful our antiquated close range missiles have served us well in the narrow confines of the river but out here in the ocean some pirate can uh, can have us full holes before we can get them to swing back yeah these missiles are crap they shoot up and then instantly jump back into the water. I don't know why. Let's take some resources. Let's go ahead and uh, give ourselves 1,500 resources. Always a good practice. All right. Launch missile. Launch mission. All right, so they want us to do what? How to cram cannons! Oh, they want us to build a cram cannon. The cram cannon is a system that packs pellets into a shell. The longer you let the shells get packed in with these pellets, the longer the shell, the larger the stronger the shell is. Large shells can, of course, hold more projectiles. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I already know about cram cannons. So they want us to build a crammy cannon. Oh, and they left the resources for us to build a crammy cannon. All right. So first off, we need the turret. Yes, absolutely must have turret. But then we would need the firing piece. There's a gauge increase, gauge increase, cram can and ammo boxes, explosive belt, explosive pellet, cram canning firing piece. Wait, they're both firing piece. connect all right so first off we're gonna want this thing to be a little bit taller so we're gonna use a wood block uh, let's go yeah well now we don't want to do wood block we want a metal block we don't get this thing shot off the top of it let's go with a yeah let's go with the rest of a regular metal block no let's go with two nope it's gonna have to be taller there we go. And let's go ahead and put the the cram cannon firing piece. You know, I've never actually built my own cram cannon. I from scrap scrap. I've modified other people's cram cannons. Let's see, simple weapon control, air, prototech. Uh, that's a mod that's supposed to be working. It's supposed to make it so I can enable um, AIs to last longer than instantly die. Because the last change made AI, the last update made AI die at three seconds after being killed, which I just, it destroys the game for me. I mean, I always thought if I kill an AI, I should have, it's kind of fun, you know, to go capture it. So, but the mod doesn't seem to be working. We may remove it. Anyway, as I was saying, I need to figure out where the heck there is cram cannons firing piece. Let's make sure it's pointing forward. Boom. Now, we need 
the motor barrel barrel oh wait no uh, heavy barrel start heavy barrel and heavy hmm where's the motor barrel maybe I'm thinking of there motor driven barrel one two all right now just go with the regular barrel all right elevation yeah let's go with one regular barrel right regular barrel oh actually you know what they have three what wait how are they building theirs let's go ahead and see that because I, I think you're supposed to just follow exactly what they've got here cram cannon elevation barrel rotor motor 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 there's one okay there's one two three four four motor and an elevation and then we got two engine and a recoil suppression all right so let's go R switch that over back to whoa that's not the right spin block here it is G elevation and then motor barrel they want four four then regular barrel want two and then they want a recoil suspression hardened pellets recoil suspension barrel yay we now have the barrel now <laughs> we need oops hmm. is there a way to get off of these uh, do, 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 do. Nah, this is tip B <laughs> all right so we need aiming piece right this is what this is what is this a predictor yes using a lot of split box to actually drive this there. So we're gonna put a predictor on top. Yes. Okay, now, it has been a while. I forget what comes after this. I'm pretty sure gauge increase, gauge increase would be right here right all connected. But that also, I'm not sure to normal weapon standards. Here we go. Not connected. Cram cannon connector. Cram cannon auto loader. There we are. Two crammies. Alright, so we're gonna get gauge increased. Not could connect directly to a firing piece, connectors, or other gauge increases. Yes. I know this. G. Oh wait, no, what? Huh? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go. We want this is what I want. And then we get the gauge increase on the inside sides here. And we only turn it this way. Wait, that's not looking right. Ah, no, that's because I'm not having it the right direction. There, that's looking right. Yeah, we want that. And um, actually, you know what? That's not what I want. That doesn't look good. Nope, nope, nope. Let's go with what they got. Do 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 do. Da -da! And there. I think that should be a big enough gauge increase. All right. Now that we have that, what do we need? We need auto loaders and connectors. But I do not remember because it's been a long time since I built a cram cannon connector, cram cannon connector, auto loader. Ammo box, ammo box. So we need cam cannon connectors. Uh, let's go ahead and put this down here so we actually get a nicer looking 
set up. We don't really want to have our hmm. Yeah, no, no, that's not a good placing. Hmm. Okay, yeah, this this will work. All right, so now we need the cram cannon ammo boxes. We're gonna put those on the bottom. One, two, three, four. Yep, four is what they want us to have. And we're gonna put the firing pieces. Uh, the, the, the where are they at? The fragment. Uh, no, wait. Firing high explosive pellets. There it is. Yes, high explosive pellets. Not connected. And do, 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 do. hit the wrong way. There we go. Now you connected? No, not connected. Connect to a cram. Connect to a cram. Iron piece. Or an auto loader. Why? Oh, oh okay. You have to be done, turned around this way. No, not connected. These are none of these connected. What? No. Okay, why aren't these connected? How do they connect them? Connect to a cram cannon. Well, these are connected to a cram cannon. Why aren't these connected to a ram cram cannon? What is up with this? Okay, so you're going to need to point directly at it, aren't you? No. I will be right back. Like I said, it's been a long time since I tried out the cram cannons, and I never was a fan of the cram cannons. Okay, so this is our cram cannon. Uh, well, actually, let me see you. Let me look at the stats here. So, reload time 10.26 seconds. Okay, and not limited to anything. Still diameter 730 uh, 30 meters. And damage right now is 5,000. This will blow anything that's going to come out of us out of the water. I don't need to do any better than this. I really don't. Uh, in this mission, for sure. But first off, we need to go ahead and clean up around our little mess here. Let's not knock down our engine, that would suck. There is no undo button in From the Depths. Really sucks. There should be an undo button. Everyone's been talking about getting an undo button for years, but never happened. And I don't think we're going to get. Also, I should probably armor this up a little because, um, well, duh. <laughs> Let's go with um, metal blocks. Let's go with three beam. Nope, we're gonna have to go with two beam. G down. And uh, no, why is it not let me? There we are. Do do. G. A four metal block. Let's put N. Make sure this is there. Do 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 do. And we're gonna need something around the base too, so we're gonna go ahead and put one here. Well, this will also limit our ability to turn, but it's fine. Put one metal block. There we go. And now it's gonna get not gonna get torque clipped. I don't need this on the Need a two, three, three, three. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. I could add the little corner pieces and make this all look really nice and blah, 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 blah. But there's no really real reason to do that. Saying that, I'm still going to do that. <laughs> no, I won't, I won't, I won't. I won't make you guys suffer through that. I'll just do it one piece. All right, no. There we go. There. Now it looks a little better. <laughs> and we protected up all of our explosive pieces, I think, except from the back. 
But let's test out our cram cannon. Boom. Oh yeah. Aha. Aha. Cram cannon ready to go. Though actually my what I had before would probably be the with the lasers. Oh you cannot um yeah. Hmm. Well, let's hope I don't fail this mission. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> but anyway. Charge on towards the waypoint. We have ourselves a cram cannon made. Do 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 do. Yeah, actually, a simple weapon probably would have way more than suffice for anything they're gonna throw at us. But they want us to build a cram cannon, so I'm gonna build a cram cannon. This thing will blow things out of the water if I can actually hit anything with this thing. But I'm gonna guess everything that's gonna come after us. Rover river boats are gonna be very slow. Waypoint. Now let's see what happens. The nitwit trader has led the pirates right to us. Pirates, they're everywhere on these waters. Like roaches they are. That dread is def okay. That dreads is defenseless and we're running on fumes. So running ain't, ain't running ain't an option. Man the weapons. Get them firing, boy. We're not running on fumes. Hey. What happened to my control? Oh shoot, it isn't gonna give me, aw oh, darn. It's not gonna give me. Not gonna give me the auto fire system. Let's hope that hits. Oh wait, was that my ally? Oh, that's why it's not working. Oops, <laughs> I'm glad I missed. That would have been a really bad hit. Yeah, that's why it wasn't working. Oops, I missed again. I can't believe I did that. I turned around and shot right at her. There we go. Lock on fire. Fire. I'm still missing. I'm too far out. If I would have hit with that first shot, man, things would have been bad. This stupid missiles are trash. All right, I think I hit with that one. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get closer. We need to get closer with cram cannons. Well, cram cannons can be long range, good detection, but cram cannons are just way too slow firing and way too slow flying to be any actually useful for. Well, I've always thought. Uh, advanced cannons way better. Which came out about the same a little bit after or was it before cram cannons? AI dead. Yeah. Fire. Can't see through the smoke. I wish I could see. I want to see this. I love when the cram cannons hit. They are beautiful to watch when they hit. I'll tell you that. But since they limited me to the first person in this, I cannot see what actually is going on. Boom, boom. Oh, we're in close range for its, its little guns to shoot. Fire, fire, fire! There we go. Cram cannon right to the... Th oh, wow, that didn't do that much damage. Come on, really? I didn't guess I didn't build as good a cram cannon as I thought I did. I thought it would totally obliterate these small little things. Well, let's aim for the small guy over here. I know that will destroy him in one shot for sure. He does not have the mass to withstand a cram cannon. Boom! The big guy does, though, for some odd reason. Fire! 10 second reload time is really harsh. Boom! Alright! Totally creamed in. And stupid missiles. What is up with that? I need to look at those missiles.
there used to be a way to unlock from first person. Well, you know what? Let's just go in build mode and just go that way. Can I fire from build mode? No, they changed that too. You can't do anything. They lock first person completely. I hate first person. And it doesn't let you actually see the beauty of this game. Come on, all right, fire. Where is this game to get? I want to see closer so we can actually see what's going on. You know, that missile, that gun, I guess I probably should have to wait some. Here, let's go ahead and wait and let it build up instead. Oh, wait, there's a gun. Let's fire that out. Boom. That didn't destroy the gun? Come on, fire that thing. You see? Can't see. Stupid first person locking scrappage. Boom. Makes it so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Stupid m missiles. I think our missiles are doing more damage to us than they're actually doing to the enemy. You know what? I have enough resources. I'm not going to sit here all this time. I'm going to build myself right here. Sub objects. Load sub objects. Dasher turret. No. Is this the dasher turret? No, that's not the right dasher turret. Dasher turret. Turret from dasher. Here we go. Simple lasers. Come on. No, no, get out of the build mode. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Much better than that cram cannon. Like I said, cram cannons equals crap. <laughs> My opinion. Lord Mad Dog's opinion, 1.1. Now, cram cannon, don't get me wrong. Cram cannons can be dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous things. This is actually a really heavily fortified boat, too. This boat is really super heavily fortified. Wow, this thing's taking a lot, a lot of damage. I said just jump on and... Is something else shooting at us? I don't think so, no? Stupid bro. Our missiles are doing a lot of damage to us. <laughs> Trash, whoever designed them. <laughs> this is hilarious. I'd have to look at them. <laughs> they probably have a one turn on them and no, and no fuel and just ejectors. Like, yeah, I don't know. What, what the, those are some weird looking. Why isn't this thing down yet? My gosh. I guess they wanted to build a bigger uh, cram cannon than you built, that's for sure. I did exactly what they had there, otherwise I would have built a lot bigger. Come on. Where is the AI in this thing? Oh, I bet it's up above, right here. Probably right there in that thing, right there, not shooting at Boom! Hit something heavy. Oh, there goes our missiles! Stupid things. 
I think I'm gonna capture this thing. Alright, where are you at? Where's the AI? Well, I'm not seeing anything. Damaging myself. I don't see... Hey, oh, I see fuel. Right there, fuel. Hit the fuel there. This thing should be dead! If this was in a campaign, I would so jump off by now and just go get find the AI and get, get, get this thing. But, it's not! Boom. This is ridiculous already. I am just cutting straight through my own self. Right here, kill myself. Standing in the midst of my gazers. Oh, that's bad. Don't do that. I wonder what happens if I die. Is it like game over? Let's turn around so that doesn't happen again. Let's get it on the other side here. We've already taken out that one whole side. Come on, come on. Why is ooh, I just destroyed my cam cannon? Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was really bad. Come on, why is this thing dead? What am I missing? Too damaged about dang time, my gosh! Yay! Woo! Did you see the size of that ship? That walrus was a beast! It was! If this is what's running around on these here oceans, I think I may be ready to go back to the river system. Then again, with that cannon you built us, maybe we'll do just fine out here. No, that cannon was crap. <laughs> with the salvage from the ship we collected, I think it's high time we buy one of those new fangled dangled mainframes. I've heard so much about this. Get this old boat running all on its own then we can kick up our boots and take it easier set us set a course for the nearest fishing hold trading post all right however that is all we have time for today i hope you have enjoyed this episode of this beautiful new game called from the depths lord mad dog signing off